shutdown. I want to get to that shutdown with Ed Butowski. Ed, look, uh, our viewers, they do not like this shutdown. Most of them no. blame Democrats and the president. And there's a lot of sympathy amongst our viewers for Senator Ted Cruz. Okay, now that's the politics of it. Got that. That's where our viewers right. are coming from. I want you to approach this as an investor. That's what you are. How does an investor yep. play the shutdown? Well, I, I, the advice that we're giving our clients is, and that most people are doing, is saying, you know what? This is a non-event when it comes to investing. It's almost like dropping your, your phone, picking it up and hoping it still works. That's what happened. The shutdown occurred and things are still working. Companies are still earning money and that's how they're evaluated is based on earnings. So from an investor standpoint, this is an absolute non-event at this point. It could change down the road. Okay, now the president is bringing in the debt ceiling deadline, as you know, October yeah. the 17th. Would you say the same thing? It's a non-event for investors if we go past the debt ceiling deadline. Well, you know, now we get a whole different ballgame because now we're starting to deal with their credit and we're starting to deal with, you know, what the interest rate levels are going to be and credit quality of and not just the United States uh, bonds because all other bonds are played off of that. So credit ratings could be, you know, impacted. So there will be a ripple effect there. That's a different ball game when we start talking about the debt ceiling. That's some real serious stuff that we need to address quickly and we can't play these shenanigans like we are right now. I want to go quickly around our table. I'll start with you, Ed. Is the president still seen as the winner here? politically or is the tide beginning to turn and the president seen as just intransigent and obstructionist you first yeah. Ed yeah there's no, no question about it he is absolutely not seen as very strong right now the polls per, you know protect you know suggest that as well he is not that strong and in previous shutdowns the president looked a lot stronger you know in another administration so the absolutely without question he does not look as strong as people think you know, around the country uh, Sandra Smith the tide turning beginning to move a little bit against the president what do you think Stuart, I've been saying on your program all along, going against the grain, uh, at most people say the Republicans are always going to look like the ones to blame. I've been saying it's going to end up to be the president. Uh, reason being, people have shown they want leadership in this country. And right now, they see a president that steps to the podium and won't even take questions at the end of these uh, press conferences the past yeah. couple of days. They want action. They want leadership. Last word, Liz. Reagan, Clinton, and George H.W. did negotiate with Democrats yeah. in, the debt ceiling, in their debt ceiling crises. White, uh, basically, the American people are seeing no delay in the individual mandate, special interests getting special favors, and taxes like treating medical device companies like alcohol or cigarette companies, slapping their revenues with a tax that's creating job losses at those medical device companies. All right, thank you, one and all. Sandra, Ed, Liz, many thanks indeed.